Oh, the ACW heavyweight and women's champion will be crowned at the Battle Kingdom Resurrection Caribbean Cup on October 22nd and 23rd at the Pleasantville Indoor Sporting Arena. Wrestler, event manager and operations director at ACW, Gillian Ferguson says it's been a long-term ambition to return local wrestling to the place of prominence it held in the 70s and 80s when the likes of Abdullah the Butcher and Victor Jovica prowled the ring. wanted to bring professional wrestling back to Trinidad. I've been working at doing that for a number of years and now it's finally come to fruition. So that's why, because I love it and I know people love it. ACW hosted their first event in July in Woodbrook and the response exceeded their expectations. Ninja Assailant has been wrestling since 2013 and is relishing the chance to prove himself against the foreigners be the opportunity I've been waiting for since that time to show what I could do on a higher level, especially against these foreign talent. Because people have a people have a way of thinking that foreigners are better than the locals. So this is something I'm gonna to put to the test. Alongside Ninja, the WWE's JTG represents Team TNT against the likes of WWE alumnus Lince Dorado, Elijah Pope Burke and the legendary Hall of Famer Mark Henry. Wrestlers from Jamaica, St. Lucia, the Bahamas, Haiti and the Dominican Republic will enter the ring seeking the glory.